Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Oh, he oh, moved. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was you're, loafed right oh, behind him. <laughs> it was so cute. Uh, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrews. Mm. But tonight is something different, something special. Well, we don't need these cat treats right here. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's for bribes later. Oh, yeah, bribes. Um, tonight is the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards nomination Ooh. announcements where we are going to talk about all the games mm -hmm. that have been nominated mm -hmm. for the atari homebrew awards in all of the categories nice one by one slowly <laughs> we'll be revealing them all mm -hmm. of, on a very special episode yes. of zero page homebrew yeah. nathan strom that is absolutely correct so there is pretty much nothing but nominees tonight that's what we are going to be going through okay. and tonight we're going to also be playing interspersed between the announcements the work in progress 2600 games mm. both the original and ports mm. so i first want to thank everybody for showing up um because there is quite a crowd tonight lots and lots of people cats. and cats as well yes beautiful cat at that yes this is pixel because he's got a little black pixel on his belly i want to thank all the twitch subscribers who help support the show alan the fur armscar coder coder catalog coconut 81 dnoi dan abc drexel goku Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Juan Urato, Carl G, Mark Space, Inc, Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum. I think Muddy Funster resubscribed just before the I show. I think so. I, I Thank you for resubscribing. Up. Yeah. Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, Coog 2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pam, Scum Software, Six Suites, Smitty Beam 7800, Socrates 0603, Spiceware, Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Watchman 89. Tiki Dan, K and Trek MD, and you can see them down the side if you just didn't get enough of me saying those names. You can support the show as well and subscribe for free. A lot of these people, I just looked it up, looked down the little spreadsheet. A lot of them do use the Twitch, the, 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 the Prime. Amazon Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free Yes. and support the show yes. as well. Um, and make sure you follow and like and click things all the different uh oh Rena foot's messaging me because we're organizing things um, <laughs> he's like the show has started um are you not watching Rena? no he's doing some stuff he's organizing some stuff nice um i have some before we get to oh, the nominations yes. i've uh one piece of mail that's that's all that we're gonna do out of that's normal tonight <laughs> is open this piece of mail yes um because it is video game related and 2600 related actually and it took a long time to get this in the mail a once upon atari a how i made history by killing an industry by howard scott warshaw nice and we've seen him speak live uh, mm. a number of times at the portland retro gaming expos um he's always interesting to listen to um him talking about yars revenge and et mm. and everything in between yep and how he made the best game and the worst game ever on the 2600. <laughs> he's, he's a really good speaker. Mm. And he's got hit, um, a lot of great stories mm. that he tells. So it took a little while to get here. I think like the U.S. Uh, stack of books was delivered Sent to, out the, quickly and to then... the Amazon warehouse. Yes. Quicker than the Canadian yeah. Amazon warehouse. So I got this like three weeks after everyone else on the internet. Yeah, that's okay. Um, it happens. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really looking forward to, to reading the book and uh, learning some more mm -hmm. stuff that he you'll, has. You'll have to give you a review once you've had a chance to uh, yeah, read through exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. come on, come on, come on, out of there. Stop sniffing that. Come on. Okay, so I want to thank, first off, the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards sponsors mm -hmm. who help make the show possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank Zero Page Homebrew because we're <laughs> one of the sponsors because it's it's not, it's its, its own entity, the... Uh, the Atari Homebrew Awards mm. and we are like zero page presents it and organize it but um, it's weird 
I just yeah. do it that way. Yeah. Um, Might as well pat yourself on yeah, the back. That's you know? right. <laughs> uh, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, broadcasting live on Twitch for the past three years. Three years. Oh, my God. Wow. Zero Page Homebrew brings you weekly exclusive premieres of brand new Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrew games, along with news, interviews, reviews, and the best games for your classic consoles. Well, that sounds like a good show. <clears throat> we should watch it. Oh, wait. We are. Uh, You're watching it right now. Um, and also Atari Age, who is sponsoring the Atari Homebrew Awards as well. Atari Age is dedicated to bringing you the latest Atari news, providing pr uh, support for the Atari community and maintaining an extensive historical archive. We also sell new games for the Atari 2600 and 5200 and many other things. He needs to update this. Um, <laughs> in addition, okay, he's trying to open this. If you could take care of that. In addition to accessories and collecting supplies, have you played Atari today? Um, Atari Age is not only the hub of everything homebrew, especially for Atari and other systems as well, but they've been supporting the homebrew uh, Atari Homebrew Awards since the beginning and is where really all the information voting takes place, like all the voting taking place on the Atari Age website. It's all set up. I just have to click go and the voting starts. Nice. Yeah, so Al, Al, uh, Al Uruso has been a massive uh, support for mm -hmm. the Atari Homebrew Awards. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, Al. Um, Mark Spaces Argon as well is a uh, sponsor of the Atari Homebrew Awards. Nice. Argon lets you play games from your own collection as well from our ex ever-expanding library of classic games and homebrew hits. With top-tier emulation, Argon is fo focused on 70s, 80s, and 90s cartridge-based console gaming um pretty uh in line kind of sponsor i think it's <laughs> yeah. quite on target yeah no, uh, argon great. currently supports games written for the 2600 7800 lynx ColecoVision, and television of vectrex we're adding new consoles and games regularly um they're also looking to load on a lot of the nominated games in the atari home rewards so oh, you can evaluate cool. them through their through app. Argon. That's yeah. really cool. And it's an app that uh, loads onto a lot of different systems, including um, Android. Mm. So you can play 2,600 games and 7,800 games right on there. You select them from a massive, massive list. Mm. Uh, the choppy video is you, because it all looks good here. <laughs> um, so uh, thank you for sponsoring. Uh, and also, last but not least, Brian Matherns. Arena Foots, the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion. Nice. Of which I have a stack of them up there. He's put out, I think, five or six books now. Uh, the Atari 2600 is alive and well with new games being released all the time through the power of Homebrew. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 4 covers 21 titles spanning 15 years. This is his newest book. Of Homebrew games developed for Atari's legendary console. Inside this book, and he's in the chat too, uh, you'll find fun to read, historically important information on a wide array of titles. Um, Arena has been at a wealth of knowledge for the Atari 2600 entries into the Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, and he works behind the scenes organizing the entries, gathering instructions and photos of the packaging. And he was just working right now, just <laughs> before the show. Um, and also, I want to thank Adam and Phil San for providing like 99% of the information for the Atari 8-bit and 5200 category. Oh, good. Because without them, I am lost. Yeah. Because I, uh, I dabble in that. I have an XEGS. Yeah. But I haven't gone full force into that. Yeah. And we don't play a lot of the 8-bit games on the show. Mm -hmm. So they've been a massive, massive help. And awesome. that category just would not happen without their help. So I want to thank them. Yeah. They're not sponsored, but <laughs> they're, yeah. they're massive They've done help. a lot of help. Yeah. yeah done, done a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes, Brian's books are great. They're really good if you... Uh, have a homebrew game that you mm. bought and you want to read up some background information without going through 52 pages in the Atari Age forums. <laughs> but uh, those are good too. Yeah. <laughs> but just a lot of reading. Mm. Okay, so uh, shall we get to the first nominations? Yes. That's why we're here. Uh -huh. um, so we're going to start off with the um, Atari 2600 Work in Progress original nominated games because that's what we're playing first because so, i have to tell you what they are before we start playing them excellent um uh, but first we're going to take a look at the complete list of categories that we're going to go through tonight okay um so that everybody is uh oh let me just fix that 
trying to develop a little bit of build up there here. Doesn't go. want to release the names too quickly. <laughs> no, no, exactly. <laughs> um, so this is the website. I'm going to paste it in the forums right now, or not the forums, the chat. So you can take a look at that. That's going to be the hub for the Atari Homebrew Awards, this page, mm. um, where you get all the information and links to voting. Mm. And it's like one of the top links in the forums. It says Atari Homebrew Awards. It's like the third one in there. Um, so you get the nice graphic there. Brought to you by Zero Page, Atari <gasps> Age, Argon, and the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion. Very nice. And you get a picture of this beautiful award that all the winners will be getting mm -hmm. um you know stylized with the category this one happens to say to say zero page homebrew <laughs> so i am the winner of zero page homebrew <laughs> uh, doing the best zero page homebrew possible i don't know yeah <laughs> one nominee one winner it's yeah all good. it's fixed it's fixed <laughs> it's totally fixed, fixed. <laughs> um so the voting begins today january 15th uh, the Friday. Uh, I have 23 59 59, mm. but I am going to release the ability to vote as we announce the nominees. Um, so that if you have played all these games, then you can start voting. Mm -hmm. But please don't vote if you haven't played all these games, because I really would love everybody to try out all. There's only six per category. Mm. So it's not too much to mm. try and play. Last year it was. 10 to 17 some of them were so it was a bit intimidating we cut them down to six so you only have six to play through mm. so i would highly suggest playing all six before you vote mm -hmm. but i know a lot of these people are developers that are here today here in the chat yeah so i'm sure some of them have played all six yeah so if you have played them go ahead and vote yeah um and it ends january 31st end of the month right just smack. before midnight yeah that's what it ends very easy to remember um, so make sure you get in all your votes, play all the games in all 14 categories. Mm. There's a lot of categories, but... Um, and the award show is on February 6th, 2021. It's a Saturday. It's at noon. It works for a lot of time zones. Um, I don't know about Australia. It might be really early in the morning in Australia, but for North America and Europe, it should work pretty well. Mm. Um, nomination results, that'll be posted after the show. You'll just be watching along with us right now. Um, there's a voting guide, so Ooh. you can uh, understand what the categories are. Like, mm -hmm. there's a bit more information about the, the categories. What and also, defines things in those categories? Exactly. Oh, good. Like, proper definitions. Like, I, I defined year. <laughs> <laughs> because it's necessary. Yeah. It's like January yeah. 1st to December 31st, yeah. midnight to midnight. Yeah. It's like anything in 2020. Yeah. And that's it has to be released in that year. Okay. Um, and uh, this will ans answer somebody's question that's already been posed yeah. um, or comment. The games that you are judging on, you will be downloading from a specific spot okay. that we're going to post in here um, uh, where you can download all these games. Yeah. It's nice and easy, one spot. These are the versions that are released in 2020. So mm. some of these games are works in progress that have had versions released in 2021, that is not the version you're voting on. Mm. You're voting on 2020 games. Mm. Like they stop midnight, December 31st, whatever, whatever, whatever that work in done process is. is done. Yeah, that's fair, that's if very they, fair. If they do uh, yeah. an updated work in progress mm -hmm. next this year, that's for 2021. If okay. they complete it in 2021, that's for 2021 as well. So okay. just so people know, do not judge any games outside of 2020, even if they're been updated, mm. um, because that's where that's what you're trying yeah. to judge. Yeah. Yeah. That's very fair. Yeah. And there's some um, also some updates in there that you should really read through if you're a developer, especially mm. um, because there were some issues last year that if you read them and you know about them, you'll understand why they're there. Why, why you're doing certain things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So fair enough. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, I, uh, the non-edible links to the share folder, I'll post it at the end of the show. Yes, gotcha. at the end of the show, Arena Foot. Perfect. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that'll be very helpful if you could do that. <laughs> um, does the AA Hub list all the games that were in the list before the nomination? That's a very good question. They are right there. Full 2020 release for 2600, 7800, and 8 bits. So you can see all the games that were released. They have links to the um, discussion forums as well. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see all the games that were in contention, which is every game that was in 2020. Like nobody has to sign a piece of paper and, and enter it into the contest. Um, they can ignore us if they don't want to get their award and if they win or whatever. But uh, I haven't really met much resistance to that. Mm. Everybody's very happy to be part of it. Mm. So every game is automatically entered. Um, so you can get the full list. So if you follow that link, you can go to the, the 2600, 7800, and 5200 mm -hmm. slash 8 bit. Um, here are the categories. Um, a lot of 2600 categories because there's a lot of 2600 released in the year. Um, Best Atari 2600 Homebrew Original. Best Atari 2600 Homebrew Port. Mm -hmm. And that is new if people have followed last year. We've separated out originals mm -hmm. and ports for... Uh, to be able to have original games shine a bit more because uh, ports have a lot of nostalgia associated yeah. with them. and that's fair. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I love that game in the arcade. It's yeah. like, well, what about try out this new game yeah. that somebody made? So we've yeah. separated them out so you can I check them out. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, last year we added the under 4, 4K and under mm. to celebrate the tiny games, okay. which have a lot of fun to them. Um, so we also separated that out into ports and originals. Nice. Because amazingly, there's there's 4K ports as well, mm. a bunch of them. Um, people are able to pack in arcade games into 4K. Wow. Um, and then we break it down into best graphics for original and port, best music and sound for mm. original and port, uh, best packaging, Which and that's... Everyone? That's the that's the box. Yes, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. that's everyone. It's for twenty six hundred. That's yeah. the like the cartridge, the manual, yeah, the box, any extras they throw in. Yeah. Um, talks about how to judge. I don't specify how to judge original and ports differently because you're comparing ports to ports and originals to originals. Mm. You're not comparing originals to ports, mm. so there's not really need to mm. talk about that. You just judge whatever criteria you want for ports yeah. and then whatever you want on originals yeah if you like you know whatever i don't know what you want to touch it on <laughs> yeah. it's gameplay really well yeah, yeah. and then because yeah. it breaks it down to graphics and music yeah. and sorry, mm -hmm. sound um and then we have works in progress which i love that category um because these are games that are up and coming that people are trying out mm -hmm. and working on and it's fun to give them an award and to recognize they're doing great potential work. yeah they have yeah, great yeah. potential yeah it like even showing that they're nominated it's yeah. like oh this is looking good yeah and it encourages them it's like oh you're on the right track right? yeah <laughs> it, it's just fun yeah there you go nathan strum that's the perfect summary if you like a game vote for, vote for it that's <laughs> simple as possible uh what about uh released games that a physical release in 2021 uh yes that was um that was a thing this year <laughs> yeah because there was a bunch of games that were done okay and the package the physical release the, here at least. the packaging was done oh right it's been announced it's been photographed it's put up it's been planned it's already been done mm. and there's been pre-orders right people have already paid for it too mm. but it's not coming out to 2021 so we made the decision to say if a game is completed then it's packaging and it's and it has packaging yeah and it's, it's on pre-order yep then that can be entered in yeah but of course next year it's not like it's done yeah. it's it's part of 2020 yeah just because this was a very unique year okay um there, there were quite was a, a few lot. like that yeah yeah um in the atari age store and outside of the atari age mm. store as well so we had to figure things out okay. and we came to the conclusion you, you made you made a um a, a special rule in rule a way to make yeah. it work to make it work yeah uh, that's so there fair. you go yeah. um well we don't know when they're shipping <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if it's february yeah. and i mean uh, could be march i don't know i haven't seen year an announcement where resources are scarce in certain it's certain difficult. ways and it can be a bit quite difficult to get something, shipping so. is slow everything's yeah. slow yeah. yeah so we had to you make adjustments as years go on right mm -hmm. executive decision <laughs> you know. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> Somebody has to take, make the decisions and take the blame. And, you know, I'm that person. <laughs> um, so work in progress, original port. Uh, and then we have the Atari 7800, which mm -hmm. I'm really excited about. Uh, we've added works in progress yeah. this year because yeah. it has exploded. Mm. And in 2021, it's even bigger. Like 
There's so many games already in 2021. So I'm looking forward to maybe even adding more 7,800 categories next year. Yeah. um, Because really things are, people are saying funny things in the chat. (laughs) 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 Um, uh, Yeah, 7,800, there's lots of great games out. Mm. And now that I have a Concerto Kart and an upgraded 7,800, we're introducing more of them on the show as well. And like last year, we also have Atari 8-bit and 5200 homebrews as well. Mm-hmm. And um, those, those are the categories. And the last category, which you're not voting on, is the Lifetime Achievement Award. And that's voted on by the nomination committee. Mm-hmm. Um, this is for people who've been around a long time, who have contributed a lot to the community, or to hardware, or to software, or something that um, you know deserves recognition, and people want to celebrate this person for really giving back, or just being around for a long time mm-hmm. and being there, it's supportive, yeah. supportive. Yeah. And it's voted on by the nomination committee because the nomination committee is made up of developers, people, the people that would be nominated. <laughs> it's kind of made up of those types of people who really know the community yeah. and have been around for 10, 20, 30 years yeah. <laughs> and just know everybody and everything. So they're really good judges of who's who mm. in in uh, the community. So they, there's no voting on that. And that'll be that's, announced that's on the, the show. nomination committee. Who, yeah. Who, yeah. So that's already been voted Fair on enough. and it's already done, actually. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't get to find out till February 6th, just like everyone else. Again, James loves his secrets. So. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, the new flash cart for the 7800, the um, Concerto and the Dragonfly are going to make it explode even more. Yeah. Because people are just getting the Concertos now. Yeah. And the Dragonflies, they're also just getting. Nice. Um, it's all, uh, my name's almost up on the list. Like 20 more for the Dragonfly. You're, you, is there like a countdown? Like you keep there is. Sh- shifting up the page? Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah, they've got them numbered. Yeah. I'm number 52. Yeah. I think they're around 20 late 20s or early 30s now gotcha see they should have them roll out the vaccinations where you're just on your list and you're checking oh 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 I'm, moving up moving yep, up oh, okay show turn. up on tuesday <laughs> it's like yep tuesday eight yep, o'clock yep. done yep <laughs> sure. dragonfly guy's got a down pat yeah <laughs> he's, he's, he even posts the um the tracking number as Ugh. well it doesn't track outside of um where he lives though mm. so it also doesn't give away the, where the person lives so mm. it's kind of good yeah, in that way. Yeah, okay, so that's enough delaying. I'm sure you're all very uh, <laughs> built up with anticipation now. Uh, so the first category we're going to announce is the uh, Atari 2600 Works in Progress. Okay. Best Works in Progress original. Original. Uh, let's see if I have this uh, loaded up. Oh, let's go back to full first. Oh, you have, oh, how yeah. fancy. Oh, I do. Amazingly so enough, I do have it loaded up. Okay. So, the nominees for Atari 2600 Best Works in Progress Original are Egg Venture 2600 by Urel Silks, uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days by Vladimir Zuniga, Peril by Vladimir Zuniga. Quantum Tunnel by Jared Gray West. Save Gaia, the Psy Mage by Michael Brown slash Generation 2. And Tap a Mole by Quahog. Those are awesome games. Mm. Yeah, all of them are going to be awesome games, so I'm not so going to say that all the time. I'm so excited for playing all these games. <laughs> nope, Game Sucks, not for really. <laughs> that, That's one of the nominees. Yeah. Scum Software. So a lot of people are going to be here in the chat oh, that, good. that are nominated, which yeah. is a lot of fun. Um, so we are going to, uh, moles, 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 moles. we're going to be play. We just played that yeah, game. Yeah, we did the other day. But we're going to play some more. Oh, okay, some more good. Moles. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited for all of those games. They're all oh great, 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 great yeah. games. So, so congratulations, everyone. Oh, Jared Gray West is here as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and some of these, some of the games I'm announcing mm. are nominated in multiple categories. Mm. There are two games that are nominated in five categories. Mm-hmm. Um, two games. Two games. Wow. Like those are the... Pff, People are impressed, pretty, yeah. It's pretty hard to be nominated in five categories, yeah. actually. Um, there are four games that are nominated in four categories. Wow. Uh, three games 
that are nominated in three categories. <laughs> uh, just happens to work that way. And six games that are nominated in two categories. Oh, and the rest are... Cool. Singles. Singles. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Well, they don't know whose is whose. No. Yeah. No. I'm looking at the page like thinking you guys can see it. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to take... Uh, we're also going to announce the nominated games for Atari 2600 Works in Progress. Mm. Ports. Mm. Now. Um yes cat we are he's excited he's very excited okay i see everything <laughs> oh no oh actually you could see the back of the page he zoomed in too late now <laughs> not gonna hold it up uh the nominated uh games in atari 2600 works in progress ports mm. now these are uh ports are games that are recreations from mm -hmm. other platforms like they may be arcade games they could be on the commodore 64 mm -hmm. they could be on wherever you know it could be a 7800 game it could be any platform mm -hmm. um so this is uh the nominated games for atari 2600 works in progress ports fool's gold by dionoy dion holstorn dionoy <laughs> uh <laughs> frantic by daryl spice jr nice Gorf Arcade by John Champeau. Uh, coding and Design, Nathan Strum, Graphics and Voice. Ross Keenum, Music and Sounds. <laughs> Robot War 2684 by John Champeau. Uh, coding. Nathan Strum for Graphics. Space Invaders Arcade by Thomas Yench. And Xevious mm -hmm. by Chris Walton and Nathan Strum on graphics. Nice. Some, I haven't added up the individual people who are nominated. Oh, yeah, no, that would be too complex. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, I had a lot to do. Yeah. And it was like, oh my God, I have no, to no. cross no. reference. That's a lot of stats right A there. lot of things. A lot of like, but yeah, adding up. Some people are in a lot. I'm sure. I'm games. sure, I'm sure a lot of people support yeah. The development of of more than one game right like and, oh, and, yeah. and different people's games too so yeah. so yeah you'll see some names repeat themselves yeah. i'm sure so those are all really good ports and you probably recognize you know uh the, the names from the arcade games yeah yeah um so let's get on with playing the first game so we're gonna play a game oh we're gonna play games yeah I didn't play think we were playing games. any games. I thought I'd be no. sitting here the whole time listening to him talk. No, so. no, no, no. Part of it, <laughs> All right. part of it is um, like playing the nominated games. Good. Because um, some people, you know, don't have time to play them mm. and just want to see videos. So these are going to be Fair good enough. reference points good. for um, people who want to see the nominated games. Mm. So, oh, Johnny, thank you for the two nominations. Mm -hmm. Very tough field this year. Oh, yes. This year was a great year for games. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Great year for people who want to play homebrew games. Yeah, Smitty B seventy eight hundred. You could always take a chisel to the award and divide it up between team members. That's true. That's uh, true. You could do that, or uh, you could just send it back and forth, kind of like. Isn't that what they do with like the Stanley Cup and the? They do with that with that because yeah. it really is so literally only one. So everyone gets gets to have gets it in it their home week. or so. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're maybe that's... take pictures with it. Yeah. Um, we are going to do the rest of the nominations today. We're going to play a game. Yeah. Do nominations. Play a game. Do, do nominations. nominations. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. That's how we're going to do it. All right. Uh, we're playing the original. We're going to be playing the last version that was released in 2020. Mm -hmm. These are the versions that the nomination committee deliberated on. Okay. Because it was. This is for 2020. Yes. Right. This really only applies to works in progress because completed games are completed. Mm. Like they're done. They're. It's the last version. Mm -hmm. Some people update them, right? Mm -hmm. um, but they, there has to be a cutoff point, and the cutoff point is 2020, December 31st. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because people could keep updating yeah. constantly. Yeah, because just keep updating. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's understandable. So you have your tray. Yeah. Um, if you need, I'm it. okay like this. Yeah. Yeah. For now. We won't play very long. No, I, I figured. Yeah. Jump into it yeah. and play it for a tiny bit. Yeah. Cool. So my wife won't ask me what I'm doing at 5 a.m. <laughs> Yep, uh, we are going to be going through all the games. Do uh, do the other category nominees get announced after playing through the works in progress? Uh, yes, we're going to be playing one game. Yep. And we're going to do them in order. Okay. Um, so we're going to be playing um, uh, Egg Venture 2600 by Urel Silks. Oh, that is not the right. 
right cartridge graphics. You're not going to get any cartridge graphics today because yeah. because that's too many games <laughs> for me to do, supply the cartridge graphics. There we go. Now we got some sound. So um, we actually recently played this, a newer version, on the show. It is a fun, fun, fun egg collecting um, game where you're this chicken. <laughs> it's very good at flying. Uh, you're a chicken and you're flying all over the place and you're collecting the eggs and bringing them back to your nest one by one. Seven, six. Oh, yeah, Can you duplicate right. your effort? Oh, geez. Well, Four. I'm going to have to redo no, it. One. I don't know if we got a definitive answer of what that green thing is up at the top. Oh, the little froggy? You think it's a... F it looks like a frog or a is lizard. Is face on the right? And he's like... Oh, oh you're going to do it. You're going to no. do it? Yeah, this yeah, yeah. One more, one more. Come on, dude. Come on. Fly, fly, fly. Oh, oh so close. I lost it? Yeah, you you lost it. Oh. So close. It's a different um, layout. It is. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. It's actually easier in this because it's all Slightly. straight across. Yeah. Yeah. He's... I guess he thought it was too easy, which it is without that. Uh, oh, I don't dip. know. I don't know. It's still pretty challenging. Ah, bounce, bounce. So there's puzzles. Ah. Go, 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 go. Clap, clap, clap. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Up, 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 up. Oh. How did I lose it again? <laughs> you, hit, you hit the bottom. I didn't, but you usually go, you pass through. Last time I passed through. Oh, well, let's try it one more time. Yeah. It didn't explode. Ah. Um, and there's puzzles to be had and nice throwbacks to um, old games. This build is so bad, scum sound. Don't say that, you're, you're wrecking your chances. <laughs> um, no, it's it's got all the things. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no! Too high. If you go really, really, really fast. It's hard. Go, 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 one. Oh, oh. Right. so close. So and close. And he ricochets back. Ah. Yeah, there's throwbacks to uh, Pitfall in this. There's a throwback, two throwbacks to uh, adventure in this. You have to reset it, I think. Oh. He's stuck. <laughs> Poor little guy. Stuck in the ceiling. Uh. Um, and there's a lot of secrets to be found, which we didn't. We're going to play this game. Um, oh, the secrets? Yeah. We didn't, yeah. we didn't find any secrets. That's for sure. Scum Software, what is that green guy? What is he? Is he a frog or a, a cricket? I think he's a, he's a frog or he's a... Go, go, five, not too high, not too low. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you did it. Ah, bounce, bounce, bounce. There we go. And after you get this egg back, we'll go into the next okay. uh, ah, category. If I can. <laughs> up, 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 up. Remember pressing up. It doesn't work as well. Oh, okay. oh, oh no, you're it's out. Working. It's because you're out of power. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Come it is. On. It's a really fun game. It is really, really fun. And the graphics <laughs> are beautiful. And bounce. And then you get a key, and then yeah. It's a secret. Oh, okay, so he's not going to tell us what that is. It's maybe it's part of that. Okay, we're done oh, with maybe. this. Oh, maybe. Done with this. Uh, we, we can only play them a very little bit because we have okay. 12 games to get through. <laughs> the chicken looks rather tired, yes. He's a sleepy chicken. He's, 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 his wings are, are um, uh, require a lot of effort. Oh, yeah. He's a, <laughs> you know, chickens can't fly very well. So, so the next category <laughs> we are going to announce is... I have them all out of order because reasons. Where's number three? Number three. There it is. Next category is Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Original for graphics. So graphics are. Everybody's hearing now. There we go. <laughs> and bounce around. <laughs> graphics are everything you see on the screen. Yeah. Whether it's animation or just still objects or just everything visual on the screen. If it's got a title screen, if it's got an intro. Whatever it is, what you see is what you're judging graphics on. So this is for Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Original Graphics. Hmm. And the nominees are 
One versus One Baseball by Edward Smith. Mm. Cannonhead Clash by Blue Swimmer, code and design. Vladimir Zuniga, label, manual, and box design. Nice. Dog on It by Andrew Pauly, game programming and graphics. Herbie Holler for cartridge label, manual, and box design. And Charles Atkins mm. for illustrations. Nice. Uh, I Ran by Vladimir Zuniga. Nice. Ninjish Guy in Low Res World by Vladimir Zuniga. <laughs> You'll be hearing that name. <laughs> um, Unholy uh, by Leonardo Santiago and Vladimir Zuniga for packaging nice. Uh, art. Nice. So those are the nominees for the Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed for Graphics. Why did the chicken fly through the cavern? <laughs> yeah, VHZC put in so much work in 2020. Mm. Like every week, it's like he put out either an update or, or a, a new, new game. Ga a new game. <laughs> yeah. Like I swear he put out like six or seven games this year. That's, that's, last year. that's a lot. Yeah, it it's a lot. On multiple platforms yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, it's just crazy. And he makes little games too in between, like tiny, tiny little games. Mm. Um, but, uh, those are, those, all those games have uh, incredible graphics. Mm. Um, so we're going to play the next game. Work in progress? Yes. Which is, uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days by Vladimir Zuniga. And this is, we're playing through the, uh, Work in Progress, Work in progress yes. Originals. Oh, 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 sorry. It started not ready. way too soon. That's okay. There you go. <laughs> it went on the screen like do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is like a platformer, a little bit of puzzle, but mm -hmm. most, you can go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's also converted this to 7800. So it's kind of funny revisiting this because I haven't played this one in a long time, the 2600 version. Yeah. I'm so used to the 7800 one. Oh my God, that was close. Oh, it's gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really short. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. I don't wow. even remember playing this version. Yeah, I think this was released really early in 2020. Go. Oh! oh. oh no. Death. Death. Fiery death. VHZC needs to do a multi-cart with all his little concepts. Yes! Yes! He's kind of done that with Night Guy on board because he's taken a lot of his uh, mini games and put them together mm. into one game. Like if you've been following all his um, little games where you um, go up, down, left, right. He, he did the pattern memorization one. Um, he, he incorporated something like this into the board game, right? Yeah. Um, did he do? He kind of incorporated his um, ah. one, <laughs> one more to let down. Oh, yeah, press the button to restart. Nice green sleeves rendition. Oh no! These the fires. <laughs> These are the worst. Ah, oh, you have to. You have to be really right close. in the right place. Uh, Scum Software says fire looks like the ones in Stay Frosty. You are correct. It does the very reminiscent, the like the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. The anthropomorphization of the. <laughs> you just got to get past the fire. <laughs> yeah. Once you're past the fire, it's there, not so bad. <laughs> there were a number of comments, um, at least on the 7800 version, that the first level is somewhat one of the hardest parts. There you go. Once you do it fast. Taller fire, though. Yeah, it yeah. feels taller. Yeah, very tall. Yeah. It's easy to get caught up playing this one for a long time. Oh, yeah. It's because every every really stage so is unique. so different. So, so, so unique. I should put these down so nobody peeks at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fireballs! Were you commenting on the 7800 version that you love the fireball? I love the fireballs. Whoa. I think it was the 7800 yeah, version. Yeah, the color of them, right? Yes. Oh. Duck. And jump. Oh. Oh, <laughs> my. Oh, 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 no. no. 
Oh, slide. That's right. Slide. My ga Gran Turismo was on the PS1. The hardest part was getting a license. <laughs> Game over music was too loud. It's a little loud right now. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each game has its own. Uh, do I just well, have you have a sword him? now, so you have to stab him. I think the stabbing's automatic. Yeah, something like that. You still stab. Yeah, it is. He just nope. shot. He just shot. Maybe I have to jump in his head. I'm pretty sure it's stabbing because your sword goes up. That is not. Okay. So beautiful, though. I've totally forgotten how to do that part. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> okay. Next category is round number five? Nope. Number four. Music and sound. To manually load these up. There we go. So this is Atari 2600 Best Music and Sound on an Original Game. Mm. And the nominees are Asteroids Attack by Ricardo Pym mm. of Game Select, Cannon Head Clash by Blue Swimmer for Code and Design, Vladimir Zuniga for Label, Manual, and Box Design. Perfect I timing. apologize, but I will be back. <laughs> uh, Crazy Tunes. By Jeff Johnson, who's Omega Matrix. Uh, Dog on It by Andrew Pauly, it's Arm Scar Coder. Uh, game programming and graphics. Uh, Herbie Holler for uh, cartridge label, manual and box design. And Charles Atkins for illustrations. Ninjish Guy in Low Res World by Vladimir Zuniga. And Unholy by Leonardo Santiago and Vladimir Zuniga for packaging and art. Oh, Ricardo Pema's here. Here, congratulations, Ricardo, on Asteroids Attack. So those are the nominated games for Atari 2600 Homebrew Best uh, uh, Music and Sound for an original game. You can see it down the side there. It took a long time to make these graphics, these bespoke graphics. Uh, so congratulations to all those nominees. I wonder who that was at 6.42 at night. Oh, just come back down. So we're going to move on to the next uh, work in progress nominated game for 2600. Is it a delivery? Uh, Somebody here. Yep. Okay. Insurance stuff. Oh, okay, good. Yep. So I, I can I can drive my car again. So. Yeah. <laughs> legally. Legally. <laughs> Not that we were driving it illegally. No. <laughs> well, we're still driving it legally. Yeah, still. <laughs> okay. So uh, load up peril. By Vladimir Zuniga, which was nominated for Atari 2600 Works in Progress Original. Mm -hmm. Two minutes in InDesign. Awesome. What? <laughs> Are they commenting on graphics? <laughs> hmm, I think there's not enough VHZC in these awards. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> Playing his games. He's almost announced in every game. <laughs> yeah. Every category. Okay. Let You've it up. got a happy cat here. Hi, happy cat. Ooh, this one's a loud one. Yeah. Let me turn that down. There we go. A bit more reasonable volume. So in this one, you're flying a helicopter. Uh, as opposed to his other games, except maybe when you're in water, um, none of them are flying. All of them are like guys on the ground jumping around. But this one, um, you have freedom of movement all over the place mm. but it's still got all these amazing um, traps and contraptions and puzzles that you need to get through the timing VHZC the champ games of Germany <laughs> so, one man machine like he not only does his own games he contributes so much to other people's games as well like he does um, on his own games I believe he does everything he does oh, yeah? his music, he does his graphics, he does his programming, he does his own bar uh, artwork on his box as well. Like everything. And then he has enough time to um, do everybody else's <laughs> artwork too. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um, sadly, he's not here tonight. Oh, yeah. I don't see him in the chat. Yeah. 
Yes, this is the Atari. Yes. I love how the background lights up on this one. Does it? Oh, in the background of the game. I thought you were like the background here, which it sometimes <laughs> does. Um, yes, for the the lightning, or was it the zapper in the last level? <gasps> oh, you're going what down. Happened? Be very careful. Just go straight across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not like um, the other games where it's a platformer and hitting the ground. So. Oh. Straight across. Straight across. No, but I was doing. Why is it all of a sudden? Being oh, it's 3 a.m. in Germany. Ah, uh, that's no excuse. It's a Friday. What? Here, let me see. No, 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 let me no, see. no. Let me I'm see. fine. I'm fine. Go to the right. Go to the left now. Look, look. It's just when you're down there. I don't know. There's no wind. I know. Is there? No. Maybe I'm you're just. just pressing. I think I'm just pressing. You're panicking. Slightly. Oh, Carl G uh, suggests stop going down. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Carl G. <laughs> it's really good. helpful. It's a good hint. <laughs> I mean, it's very. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, Ooh. see. Ooh. Wait, wait, I forgot, wait. I forgot that was there. Yeah. There are safe spots. Yes, so I know. You, yeah. the, the corner. Yeah. It's 3.45 a.m. Saturday. Okay. Carl C.G. says, follow me for more gaming tips. <laughs> I want to sign up to your newsletter. Ah, oh, ah, panic time. Ah, panic. It's panic like when, cat. The, when the cats hear a really loud noise, they start yeah. <laughs> scrambling on the hardwood. And we call them panic cats. Right? Are you a panic cat? Oh, he's so happy. So. After you get through this level, we're going to move on. Because we don't have a ton of time. <laughs> and you only have one life anyway. I think you revisit this room coming back yes. and shoot the skull after you get the bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll let you get to the boss. The boss? I can't even remember. I think this is... Oh, you have to go back through this. Number font is cool. Yeah, that's like the VHZ font yeah, now. Yeah. It's outline. It's really, really cool. It's like chunky. The great thing about VHZC games is that they do a lot in a really simple and smart way. An example mm -hmm. in create game design. Yeah, yeah. The, the the lightning bolt is like it changes the color of the um, backgrounds. It's just it's those tiny details. Little touches. Puts in. Yeah. But the lightning's so cool. Or the electrical field, I guess. You're at the boss yet? Yep. Oh, you got the bullets. Okay. What? You just pick it up, but I think there's a boss. No, you just go back through. Yeah, you don't want to stop playing the game because it's so fun. Okay, now you're going to die. <laughs> and killed yourself. <laughs> Great games. We haven't played these in so long because I think they came out really early. I think so. In the year. Early, early in the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next category, I believe it's category five. There we go. Is Atari 7800 Homebrew Completed Games. So I have to do this. And this is what the award show is going to be like. Me clicking a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Hopefully fast, because it's only going to be Tanya and I for the awards, most likely. Most likely, yeah. Because of sick people everywhere in the world, zombies. Yeah. Running oh. around. Oh. Is it time for a treat for the cats? Uh, maybe. Or should you announce the awards first? I'll announce the awards okay. first. Um, so these are Atari 7800 Homebrew Completed. Mm. And the nominees are Danger Zone by Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster. Dragon's Cash by Todd Fermansky, uh, Revan Tooley. For Code and Design, a Benedict Sheffer, Label and Manual Cover Art, Manual Layout. Go Sub by Chris Reed, who's Atari 2600 Land. Million Molly by Matt Smith. Uh, for Code, Mike Sarna, uh, who's Revan, for Code. Bobby Clark for music. Hi. The cat cat is not really respecting the nomination no. process. <laughs> Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition by Bob DeCrescenzo, 
who's Pac-Man Plus, and I think I saw him in the chatter. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, for code, and Perry Thuente, TEP392 for sound. Uh, Plink by BHB Smith, who is Smitty B. So congratulations to all of those nominees for mm -hmm. Atari 7800 Homebrew. And it has been a lot of fun playing 7800 games. Mm -hmm. Do you have a stream deck? Very handy for setting up a triggering macros. I do not, but I do have an editing keypad mm. that I could use instead. Yeah. You can also just set up a keyboard too. To do that? Like, um, like in bing. OBS, it's like you can set up like Alt 1, 2, 3, 4. Mm. But the stream deck has like little icons you can put mm. words in or pictures and that's why it's actually really cool really useful yeah um i don't think i think i researched a long time ago whether you could do it with a tablet too yeah. instead of buying like that would be pretty 150 cool. dollars stream deck which is just a tablet yeah with just purpose built for buttons mm. yeah uh way to go gents <laughs> <laughs> good Kicks. job everyone yeah. yes Okay, the next game we're going to be playing is Quantum Tunnel by Jared Gray West. Mm. And uh, this is kind of a, it's a game where you avoid things and pick up things. Um, I think there's two colors. Well, go for it. And you want to pick up those, avoid the ships. But you want to stick on a color. You want to stick on green or yellow. Um, those blocks push you out of the way. They're not harmful, but they could push you into danger. So the multipliers go up if you get more green, 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 green. It's okay if you get yellow, but you start from zero again. Ah! Oh. Just waking up. Great job on the sign, Tanya. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Shall we show it off? While yeah, you sure, if you want to. So this is a sign that we debuted last show, oh, or the show before, dear. the Tanya made. Yes. And it not just sits, it doesn't just sit there and uh, look pretty. It makes horrible noises. No. <laughs> <laughs> Very high pitched. It's just the power supply, unfortunately, for the e EL wire. Yeah, we're going to put it in something. Um, and it has another mode where it flashes slowly. Yeah. Oh, you guys can't see it. No, you might. I don't know how. You can see it a little bit, but it's not very bright. It flashes Unless fast. the lights are off. But, um, there yeah. you go. That's you a little better. kind of see it. Yeah. Blurry. Anyway. Super cool, even when it's off. But it looks even better when the lights mm. are off. Yes, McMuse. It's very, very, very fun. And very kind of simple. Yeah. Um... Like, it's very easy to start going with it. It's like, yeah. Ah. yeah. Gotta don't, avoid don't I had that other blue thing. That is crazy glued. It is fine. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm so paranoid about it now. <laughs> yeah. I remember it was acting up on the 7800 yesterday? Or yes. last show? Yes, yes. It's the 7800. It's perfect on the 2600. Oh, yeah, that's true. So you haven't done anything to fix it. No. I thought maybe you had. Because like, today I was like, oh my god, the joystick's still broken. We have to use a different one. And I plugged it into the 2600, and it's like, Ugh. oh, it's working perfectly. Yeah. Your main objective is just stay out of the way of the ships. If, if you don't get greens, oh. it's fine. You don't have yeah. to get all the well, greens. Well, you want to get a good score, though, let's yeah. face it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do... Gr you can switch, too. You can. Oh, and then you get a power. Um, you press a button. Uh, no. Not like that. I think you press, <laughs> the, press the button to use your power up. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, no. Oh, what this is. Mm, okay. I've forgotten. I've forgotten all about this because I never used it in the game. You can press the button to stop everything moving, and you can readjust yourself. Mm. And the uh, Jared Gray Rust was always complaining I never used it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so try it out. But your little meter goes down. And if it goes down to zero, you explode, I think. But you should try it out just to see how it works. But doesn't it have to be flashing or no? No. Okay. Don't hold it for too long, though. Yeah. But it's like, I'm in trouble. Yeah. I'm going to readjust, and I can't get out of trouble, right? And I think when you build up to the flashing, you can use it for a longer period of time. I can't, I can't remember. People read the instructions before you vote and play. 
Button slows down the enemies. Yes, pressing the button will stop as long as you hold it. Oh, Jared grew is there. Yeah. Hooray! Oh, no. no, it still goes down. Why is it flashing? I can't remember. Because it seems to act the same. I cannot remember. Yeah. It's super fun. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those games where you can just pick up and play it. Yes. And you don't have to think about it. It's one of those quick games. Um, you don't have to like start from scratch because you're always no. starting from scratch. The walls are lethal when that's they're flashing. That's what it is. Oh. Thank you. That's why you just died. That's why I died. And that's why I was like, sometimes you bounce. And that makes more sense now. Ah! Whoa. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh. oh! It's hard to get, hard to sliver past So I there. guess at a certain score, your bar flashes because you've been so far and it wants to It doesn't bring last up the forever difficulty. if I'm not mistaken. Oh. It's just temporary. I do remember that. Hmm. But the edges never kill you. Oh yeah, there's no, it's, no, over. They it's do. over now. It's over, yeah. Really? Those edges kill you when it's No, flashing? no, 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 not okay. the edges. Sorry, okay. I thought you meant the edges of the walls. Yeah. I'm like, no, you don't bounce, they kill you. <laughs> I like that you bounce off the walls too because because if you go too too high up, yeah. it really throws you off. It throws you into the Actually on this game I'm really surprised this is still a work in progress. I I I'm I can't identify what needs to be done or <laughs> any issues i'm not sure why he hasn't um declared it complete but yeah we'll probably see that next year yeah it'll be like yeah it's done <laughs> complete nice yes that right that's right at certain scores the walls will start flashing but then yeah. they go back to normal they go back to normal time. yeah i do remember this that. should be a paddle game um mm -hmm. yes it's close to being finished i want to add a high score for save feature oh ah, okay nice um with paddle the movement is different with a paddle there's two ways of using a paddle where it's absolute where you're like boom 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 you can move anywhere at any time which would change this game completely because this game has inertia or i've seen paddle games yeah, where oh. you say where you want to be right there's an extra dot yeah, yeah you're yeah. like i want to be here and then go it here, moves go to here, there go here right? yeah. okay awesome very nice we love nice. that game. It's super, super fun. Mm. And we're on to category number six, which is Atari 7800 uh, Works... 7800 Homebrew Works in Progress. Uh, and it is category number six. Let me load up the graphic. A little behind the scenes information for you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Atari 7800 Homebrew Works in Progress. Mm. Games that aren't done, but are being worked on. And yeah. there were a big uptick in, in 7800 the 7800 games. development. Yeah. Yeah. So the nominees are... A Roach in Space 2, Cosmic Boogaloo. Bugaloo. Oh, every time. Cosmic Bugaloo <laughs> by Vladimir Zuniga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, EXO by Lewis Hill. Muddy Funster. Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days by Vladimir Zuniga. <laughs> Nice. Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate by Vladimir Zuniga. <laughs> Three. Pop, Popeye, 7800 by Daryl Gunther. Gunther? Gunther. Gunther. Uh, programming Graphics, Bobby Clark, Synthapalooza for... Uh, oh, Bobby Clark's uh, Matt Smith, Pat Brady, and Trebor for Music and Sound Effects. Mm -hmm. uh, and Atari 2600 Boy for Packaging Artwork. Very cool. Spire of the Ancients by B.H.B. Smith. Nice. So congratulations on being nominated mm -hmm. for Atari 7800 Homebrew. It was um, a tough competition. There were some good ones really in there. Good ones. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Smitty B. Genther. Who is G Gunther? Genther. Genther, Genther, not Gunther. Not Gunther. Genther. Genther. So it's the E, not the U. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I, we need to. We're we English. need to write. <laughs> no, well. Uh, we need to write out all these names like phonetic in the phonetics. I, I have, I have <laughs> Do you? two of the Polish names. Okay. Um, phonetically written phonetically out. Phonetically written <laughs> out. I, I was given some help. Yes. So I'm going to write that down. Genther. Push up in Polish, put phonetic pronunciation on the cards. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> So congratulations to all of those nominees. I'll oh, brighten the background. Um, all 
amazing games like unbelievable mm. games so and you should definitely play all of them mm. they're great okay so the next uh work in progress 2600 game we're going to be playing is save gaia the sci mage by michael brown uh generation two uh who is evo mike uk yep oh wait no yeah not a yeah And this is uh, an adventure game mm. where you have to solve puzzles. Oh, it may not work on this. No? Nope. It will not work on this. Oh. Oh, no. Um, because there are issues with my system. Oh, playing this game. And the games that use big, uh, bigger games. Okay. That whenever that E comes up and we're using the oh, concert. Oh, Yeah. Or the harmony card. It's going to be a bad time. Okay. So I have to use the Uno cart oh, for this. Gotcha. Which is a okay. It won't be a problem for other people, but it's a problem for me mm. because of my RGB system, which makes me sad. How you've modded it? Yeah. Mm. Um, Batari's looking into it. He has a system that has this problem. Um, that it was Al's system that Al loaned me. Remember mm. when I had the. Mm -hmm. uh, 2600 mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a component or composite out uh, so save guy up signage there we go copy oh people are looking at blue you don't need to look at blue. <laughs> sorry there we go pop it out luckily there's always a way to play when putting in SD cards or oh my god come on <laughs> it's always the last way you put it in it's oh, like four tries there it's like plugging in USB cable I was gonna say unless it's USB-C <sighs> okay save guy ready That's a bit better. Because it was like into the game already. It was like, attack! Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it's a cute oh. little character. Some really nice graphics in this one. I don't think I've played this game before. No, I think I played it with Darcy. Mm. Okay, I think you can press the button now. Sci Mage Weeks. There's like a storyline to this. Oh. It's a 64K game, so it's got a lot of room. What am I doing? Oh, look look, look around, explore, touch things, go in different rooms, normal things you do. Blue Swimmer says, save them! They'll sort all of this out in the dress rehearsals. Well, we won't be playing games um, during the awards, which is good. Um, <laughs> We'll just be playing videos and it's free. Can it's I use ceiling. these things? I think you can use all of them. But use melee. Attack! Five damage. Enemy's turn. So press the button. Yeah, you have to prompt the enemy. Okay, but while you're playing, I'm gonna load up the next category. That. No, it's hard. great. You don't have it. Gotcha. That makes sense. No, run away. Attack misses. Oh, fail. <sighs> how do I know how much health I have? Um, that's a good question. You won. Victory! You got two gold and 16 hit points. Spell points one. Level one. Two gold. And just pass it. HP 16. Yeah. Oh, there's a friend. Talk to the friend. Oh. Or fight them. No. So the other things you weren't able to use? The, the casting and stuff? No, because what if it's gray, you don't... 
don't have it yet. Oh, I, right. I was thinking that. Can't even defend yourself? You can't run away either? Well, I don't know. Oh, those are... I can't are, use those. Those are other ones are white, not gray. Yeah. Whoa, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Smash. I'm Lady Faye. Dad's Gax killed. killed. Dad the King, meet me at Wakoa Woods. <laughs> ah. Now remember, you have to get a bomb to explode the, uh, ah. the mountain to get through the door, if I remember. Yes, the only thing I wish I could see is how much HP. Muddy Funster says, I'm like that with USB. Only two ways it can go. Still takes three tries. Thank God for USB-C. Oh my God, so <laughs> much better. I just dread using things that aren't USB-C now. Because it just plugs in. No, this is a 2600 game. Um, we're playing through all the 2600 works in progress right now. thought it said use potato. <laughs> It should. <laughs> it should have used potato in the game. How would you use a potato? You could throw it at them. Just try and explore. Just run. Stop. Just go. Go, 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 go. Just look at... Oh, it's because there's so many battles. Run away. Run away. Why? Because we've seen this a million times already. The deadly potato attack. Yeah, you could use a potato as a melee. You could use it as a projectile. Um, you could eat it for health. Um, very versatile potatoes. <laughs> 14 damage. Potato was poisoned. Game over. <laughs> so go to the right. Just go to the right. Run, run, there you run, go. Run. Go in the house. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. We're, we're finishing the game after, um, you go in the house. But please run directly to the house. I love the victory screen and the and the colors and yeah, very really, bright. Really, really cool. Oh, it's the shop. Oh, there ah. it is. Oh, it's a town, bonsai town. Want to buy? Oh, the bomb. Yes. Do you have enough coins? Because you need that bomb to explode do the. I? Um... Don't know if I do. Let's no. Oh no! You didn't do enough melee. You can look at our old video for um, the explosion of the. Uh... The right and the in. Need rest. No, five coins not to save. For five coins. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you can save game too. All right. Okay. Are we done? We're done. I think We're for done now. this part. So the next category is Atari 2600 a homebrew completed port for graphics. So it's 2600 ports for graphics. Nice. And the nominees are Avalanche 4K port by John Champeau of Champ Games uh, for code and design. Thomas Yench for additional coding and optimizations. Nathan Strum for graphics. David Exton for packaging, illustration, and design. Mm -hmm. uh, Blipskitball by Brooke Anderson. Pit Cat by Marco Johannes. Uh, Die Fed Hitchings. Sharamel. 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 Decur. Robot City by Thomas Yench uh, for game design and programming. David Exton for illustration and manual design. Tower of Rubble. By Dion Olsthorn for programming manual and David David Dries, label and bar, box artwork. And Zookeeper by John Champeau, Champ Games for code and design. Nathan Strum for graphics. Robert Vieira, music and sound effects. Thomas Yench for music and sound effects code. Lee Keebler for additional music and testing. Nathan Strum for packaging, illustration, and design. Mm. So congratulations. To all those uh, games nominated for mm -hmm. port, best 2600 port graphics. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move on to the next game, mm -hmm. uh, which is Tap 'em All! 
which requires different controllers. Mm. There you go. Hold those, please. can come down here. Oh, oh, oh he, he was, was asleep. He was asleep. Oh, yeah. Back to the hey, 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 who wants it? Who wants a treat? Hmm? Down there. In the pit, in the cat pit. Oh, no, you have to get them on camera. I know. I know. Oh. Pixel, Pixel. Oh. Pixel, come on. We're here. So he does not want to come on camera. <laughs> he doesn't want to come on camera. It's like, no, I'll let Atari have all those treats. Oh my Atari. goodness. Oh. oh what was that? Oh okay. <laughs> Something broke. Up. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. There's two cables and it plugged in the wrong one. Oh, Atari. Oh. Atari ate all the treats. That's why Atari's the chunky cat. <laughs> okay, I have to load this one. Yeah, I think you do. Oh, it's being naughty. Oh my god. There we go. Thank you. Okay, tap a mole. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! Screen. Don't tell Atari there's moles on the screen. He'll want to. He'll, he'll want to chew on them. Tap it himself. Atari wants to play. <laughs> That's right. Hey, buddy. I don't recall doing graphics on Avalanche except the screen logo. Well, there you go. <laughs> you did graphics on Avalanche then. <laughs> I guess he wants to uh, make sure it's uh, fully credited. Um, so this is Tap Mall. It uses uh, two key keyboard controllers, so a very unique uh, method of input. Um, I didn't tape them up, so hopefully it's not too bad. And there's 24 buttons that you have to press and keep track of. And the moles get faster and faster. Um, and there's honey moles that you do not ah, want to hit. Ah, ah, ah. It's sliding. Oh, I know. I don't have the tape. Do you I need to get the, the tape? tape. No, it's fine. It's fine for now. Yeah, it's only Let me short. This. I'll load up the next uh, nomination. Category 8. So how many people out there do and don't have keyboard controllers? Needs to be more keyboard, driving control, booster grip games. Booster grip? Well, I don't know how many people have booster grip, so that might be a bit difficult. Have you played today, Atari? <laughs> Egg puns, no more more puns. Every everybody tired out from the his, his previous stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see a new game for keyboard controllers. Yes, I, there is another homebrew for uh, keyboard controllers. It was a laser game, ah. and you picked which row the lasers were, were going to shoot things as they travel through them. That was kind of a neat game. Very very challenging. And this this game, um, does this version have two players in it? I think it does. I'm not sure. You guys will have to investigate that. <sighs> number uh, eight. I'll let you play one round. Terrible, terrible. Yeah? I got a pretty good score last time. You, yeah, you did pretty well. I'm. I don't think I did as well as I did the first time we played the game. I was there rocking was no... it. Oh, there's no honey. Okay, honey bears honey this bear. time. Ah. Honey moles. Honey bears. Honey bears. Honey badgers. <laughs> honey badgers. <laughs> this needs a 5200 port for the uh, joystick coupler. Simple. Yeah. More oh, yeah, challenging 50... than it seems. <laughs> yeah, the 5200 has a. Um, a keyboard as well. Mm. And if you connect both of them up. Yeah, we don't need to chew on them. Come on. Come on. Don't need that. I like that cable. Don't need cat teeth on it. 
You lose oh, the track two, of where your fingers are after a while. Two-player came out in December. So this is the two-player then. Yeah. Oh. Still going? Yeah. Kind of. Johnny says I... Uh, John Shampo says I have keyboard controllers, star rig controllers, kids controllers too. I think I have a booster grip somewhere. Yeah, I have all, I have all the different keyboard ones too. Um, all those three. I don't have... I was looking for treats. Is he or is he looking for moles? <laughs> A bit of both. Another most. Does the game spit out tickets? Yes! Oh, oh man! That would be so good. <laughs> but it's more like a realistic mole bashing than a, <laughs> realistic. Than a game... It's not too realistic. Not too realistic. They're very cartoony. But rather than like at a amusement park, like it's not a... Yeah, but it's not contained. like their heads are exploding with blood when you hit them. Uh, no. You know? Like that would be a realistic mole crunching. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a soft mallet. <laughs> You're, they're just like, oh, I don't like it. I'm going away. That would be like the, the Halloween version of this game. <laughs> or it's one of those plastic blow-up ones, right? Uh, That's just soft. Right, got one left. One carrot left. Uh, uh, I, think uh, an extra... I lose my spot all the time. Oh. Nerf whack-a-mole. Exactly. Did your Atari light gun end up being... Yes. Uh, it did. I looked it up and I found this exact one. Yeah. Under a Famiclone website. Oh, okay. It's a website dedicated to Famiclone guns. Nice. So it ha does a nine pin port, which, which is... a lot of Famiclones do because this is a very oh, easy connector to gotcha. do. Yeah. And you can't convert it to an Atari gun. You can convert Sega light phasers to Atari. Oh, light really? Guns. And Sega ones are about $20. Yeah. And the Atari ones are about $100. Mm. So if I don't find one for a good deal for the Atari, mm. like an official one, then I might just... Try the Sega one. Try a Sega one in the meantime. Because yep. I would like to try some light gun games at some point. Mm. Especially if somebody makes a homebrew one. Yep. Yep. Great yeah. game. Yes. Very, very Super great fun. game. Super fun. Simple and fun. Yep. And challenging. It's so. good game. We're going to move on to the next category, which is 2600 Homebrew Completed Port Music and Sound. Mm -hmm. So these are games from the arcade or from other systems. And this is and the... Recreated. Recreated on the 2600. Nice. And this is the Music and Sound category for those. I know it breaks down into multi-categories. Mm. But there's so many 2600 games um, that we want to make sure they're all on. You ready? And the nominees are... Yep. Uh... <laughs> Blipskitball by Brooke Anderson. Midspace by Chris Reed. Pit Cat by Marco Johannes for programming. Dyfed Hitchens for uh, produce, production. And Sheramal Decure for drawn artwork. Robot City by Thomas Yench for game design and programming. David Exton for illustration and manual design. Tower of Rebel by Dion Olsthorn for programming and manual. Dave Drives for label and box artwork. And Zookeeper by John Champo of Jamp Games, Code and Design, Nathan Strum for Graphics, Robert Vieira for Music and Sound Effects, Thomas Yench, Music Sound Effects Code, Lee Keebler for Additional Music and Testing, Nathan Strum for Packaging, Illustration, and mm. Design. Congratulations. That's Music and Sound for Atari 2600 ports. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, one of them is an interesting one, Blipskitball. It's actually a port of a handheld. Yes, 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 yes. Our, a handheld I video playing game. playing that. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's really like an interesting, um, it's, it's, yes, we adaption. played it a fair amount. It looks and it... like the, you know, the little red dots. Yeah. 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 Quite, yeah. Quite yeah. interesting. Um, so we're going to move on to the next mm -hmm. works in progress game. Mm -hmm. And these are ports. Now mm -hmm. we're moving into okay. 2600 works in progress ports. The first one is a fool's gold and it's a work in progress. It's not quite a game yet, but you can see where it's going, and people liked it enough to nominate to it. To nominate it, yeah. It's uh, Load Runner. It's a port of Load Runner, oh, yes. but it's called Fool's Gold. Yes. Right. So, let's take a look at that. Not with these controllers. Nope. <laughs> Not going to get Not far with in the these game. controllers, you don't. And I'll plug it back into the Atari box, because it likes saying its things. Yes. Just in case there's a game with high scores too, or talking, which I don't think there is. Yeah. Mm. Atari Ready. 
Like LED head blip football. Yes. Those are fun games. Like some of them are really good representations of, uh, especially in the 70s when there's like nothing. Fool's gold? Uh, yep. Go for it. Uh, which? Um, they're all kind of the same. They were, it was kind of a test work okay. in progress and they're all different heights. I would just go for 44 in the middle. Okay. I think that was. Oh the, yes, I remember. People were decided on. Yeah, was the best. Yeah, for because there's different heights and different uh, cutoffs for CRTs, mm. and he was like, "Okay, on your CRT, where does it cut off?" Because mm. he wanted to maximize the on-screen. So look at that! Look at that wipe, <laughs> the screen wipe. That's amazing for a twenty-six hundred. So, object is to get all the gold pieces that are littered around. And you can press a button to dig a hole. Um, but there's no enemies. Oh, the, yeah, it was this very early. Early version? Uh, yeah, there's no enemies in this. Um, it's just a work in progress. But... Um, so, yeah. And then when you get all the gold... Uh, you go up. But yeah, in the actual Load Runner game, the, uh, like in the original on NES and Apple mm. and other systems, there's, oh, you can't escape the level. It was just a work. In progress. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> Load R looks great. Loader! Loader! Yes. Yeah. But this is called Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold. Yeah. So that's all there is, right? Oh, oh yeah. I forgot that. And you killed yourself. <laughs> Did I? I don't know. It'll fill in. Oh, I don't think it does fill. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Very you cool. You press the button and dig a hole and fall through it, just to show that. Fall through the hole. Yeah. Like, don't dig one in the bottom. Dig one up and fall through it. Mm, fair enough. Um, let me load up the next category. Which is the Atari 8 bit 5200. It's category 9. Yay, it's all working out. Okay. Good. Got Good. it? Okay. Yeah. So, the next category we are going to announce is the Atari 8 bit slash 5200 homebrew completed. Um, I forgot that I wasn't uh, letting people vote yet, but. I'll let you vote at the end. That's too much clicking. Like I'd be away on the computer clicking. To vote? Yeah, I was gonna. I said at the beginning of the show, like I was gonna unlock all the voting. Oh, as I we thought went. I thought you were unlocking it at like midnight tonight. Uh, that was like at the latest. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But Fair I'll enough. do it at the end of the do show. Do it at the end. That's probably it's, easier. It's gonna be too much silence. Yeah. And nothing that's happening. Fine. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. So, Atari 8-bit slash 5200 homebrew complete, and the nominees are Biscuits in Hell by Paul Lay, Daryl Genther, uh, <laughs> I, I learned it already, uh, Jaden uh, Houghtons, um, the next one is Disco Pop by mm -hmm. Christian Kruger, Dizzy, The Ultimate Cartoon Adventure by Frantisek, Christian Kruger, uh, there's more to read, but then uh, they're not names. <laughs> uh, the next one is Last Squadron by Janice. Oh, here comes the pronunciations. Okay. Last Squadron by Janusz Hubos Hubowski and Michał Spilowski. Nice. I would have never, ever thought it was pronounced <laughs> like that. So thank you to Adam for, yeah, uh, for helping clarifying. me yeah. get pronounce those correctly. Nice. Uh, Ray Mays 2000 by Nelson Ramirez, uh, Paul Fisher, Vince Cool, Bobby Clark, Jason Kendall, and that's based on Ramayus arcade game, uh, and Runner Bear by Paul Lay, Daryl Genther, Rob Schlort. So congratulations. I'm being nominated in that category for Atari 8-Bit 5200 games. Okay, cool. The next game we're going to check out is Frantic by Daryl Spice Jr. These are nominated for Atari 2600 oh, Works in Progress oh, ports. Ready. 
and this is a port of an arcade game um, it's kind of it's a sequel to berserk um, I would play I would play the one to the right because that's more interesting um, yeah Can't. you can leave it all no stealth three lives four. okay yeah so shoot those dudes shoot them shoot them there you go because they're gonna kill you I will load up the next category. Oh, this one does have uh, Atari Vox. <laughs> Shoot, kill, destroy. Oh, don't kill yourself against the wall. Don't run into walls. Remember the other game? Yep. Don't run into walls. I know, they're deadly. <laughs> and the ones that are flashing, your bullets bounce off. The ones that aren't flashing, you can destroy the walls. So the next category is Atari 2600 Homebrew Packaging. I'm gonna load that one. Ah. Oh my goodness, this guy is pretty. Uh... He's after you. Yeah, I don't touch the walls. They're made of zappy, zappy stuff. Mm. Oh, spice right here. It's both Berserk and Frenzy. So you get two in one. Nice. Frantic is too much fun. Looking forward to fool's go. Oh, you did? Yeah. Ran into the walls too many times. I don't think a robot killed you once. You just killed yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> that that he floating head is terrifying. <laughs> it is. It is. It, because it can go through walls and you're stuck in the maze. The... the Graphics are so detailed in this game. Like, they're so tiny, right? Don't touch the wall. Oh, homing missile! Oh, he shot his... Shot his friend. Chicken, fight like a robot. The voice is very clear in this game. Oh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. <laughs> There's the, there's the, it's a sleepy face. Oh, you can't get him. He's protected. The humanoid must not escape. Oh, I think it can only change direction once. So if you lead it in the wrong direction and then move the opposite on the homing missile, you can evade it. Sprite work is amazing. Oh yes, it's so detailed. The guy, the the guy who's running is so awesome. They all they do hit each other, which is great. Oh, Spice Wars says he'll be resuming uh, games, but at the end of the month. Nice. Caution, rogue robots. Evil Auto. That's the name of the. Evil Auto. That's yeah. it. If you shoot that. Uh, thing in the middle yeah that uh, factory S the robots stop moving i think mm, cool uh yes my atari vox is piped through the audio mixer so the the microphone is picking it up but it's bit. much louder through the audio mixer gotcha. yeah so i don't know if you might be hearing a doubling up a mm. slight doubling up but it should be very slight <laughs> Very awesome game. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so the next category is packaging. Best packaging. And packaging, like I said, is the box. Like everything you get when you buy something. You know, it's the uh, box artwork. Mm -hmm. It's the um, look of the box, the layout, the manual inside, the cartridge graphics. Stuff that comes with it sometimes. Too. Yeah, let me just show you some stuff that has come with some other games. Like, um, this little frog came with the game. <laughs> and this little happy squeezy ball came with the game. Mm -hmm. Like little things like that. Mm -hmm. And in one game last year, it was the golf game. And it came with a golf tee and a scorecard. <laughs> it's, it's so fun, That's some cool. of these games that... Uh, that these people come up, the uh, developers come up with mm, to put it, include mm. in it. Very cute. Yeah. Cute little frogs. 
Okay, the nominees for Best Packaging 2600 is our Daredevil by Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster for graphics, code design, and Atari 2600 Boy for packaging, illustration, and design. I mean, the person who does the packaging gets the award, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm reading out everyone's name for yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, Dog Gone It by Andrew Pauly, Armscar Coder. Graphic, uh, game programming and graphics. Herbie Holler, cartridge label, manual and box design. Charles At Atkins, illustrations. Mm. So they left to fight over it. Mm -hmm. So one person did the illustrations, one person did the label. Sutton. Oh, um, I will be offering extra awards. Oh. Um, if people want to pay for an extra one. Oh, that's nice. So if there's three, someone really wants one, yeah. If there's three people that work on something, then that's they nice. are available, and they'll okay. have the exact same oh, awesome. things like pack game packaging, yeah. third annual uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Excellent. Um, Ninja Sky in Low Res World by Vladimir Zuniga. Mm -hmm. Robot City by Thomas Yench, mm -hmm. uh, game design and programming. David Exton, uh, illustration and manual design. Nice. Tower of Rubble by Dion Olsthorn for programming and manual. Dave Dries, label and box artwork. Zookeeper by John Champeau of Champ Games, code and design. Nathan Strum for graphics. Robert Vieira, music and sound effects. Thomas Yench, music and sound effects code. Lee Keebler, mu additional music and testing. Nathan Strum, package illustration and design. Yes. So it'd be Nathan Strum for getting that award if he got it, right? It's so all the um, people who do like the illustration, the box art, the label mm. artwork, all those people. Yeah. Bouncer, yes, that's the name of the game. The game, Bouncer? With, with those, the uh, those squishy things, yes. Yeah. Never heard Frantic with Atari Vox. Very cool. Yeah. Yes, Atari Vox is such an really cool. awesome add on. Mm. Not only does it have keep your high scores, mm. it can save your games if you continue later, if the, your game has that kind of thing. And it speaks. It's got so many uh, great uses. Mm -hmm. It's really great, and um, there's there's a fair number of games that use it. Yeah. And more and more now. The, yep. Yeah, more people are developing with it in mind, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, Nathan Strom, you'll get a workout on voices when we start up Champ Sports, Sports Baseball. Baseball. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There's good. Oh, I hope he includes just tons yep. of different phrases. Oh yeah. You're out. <laughs> Batter up. <laughs> and depending how crazy you get, you could have like follow along commentary yep. based on you know player 23 yeah player 24 strikes out like you could get really detailed with it or it could get really annoying <laughs> <laughs> so you could have oh you could have settings like um detailed voices minimal voices mm. no voices mm. because some people just want to play the baseball and not uh hear anything um, the next game we're going to be playing is Gorf Arcade, which is nominated Very to Atari nice. 2600 Work in Progress Port. We played this very recently. We did. Ready. Uh, N, I assume. Yep, we live in N land. Mm -hmm. NTSC. Land. It didn't say NTSC, but you it just guess. said N. I figured that out. See, save key found. Nice. So this will save your high scores. More voices! <laughs> Garf. So, another fun arcade port. Oh, you, you were gonna hit him! Oh! Yeah, it, if, it, it, it was right on track to hit him, but you retracted. Oh. Remember we were talking about bullets last time? Yeah. Show? And this is the game we were talking about where if you press the button, the bullet starts over again. Which is good if you want to recall your bullet. So it's more like an option. Don't remember, get the guys on the side. Because they'll keep coming down if they hit the side. There you go. Now it's more latitude. Ah. Another enemy is destroyed. Power plant. Early comparison with arcade. Oh my goodness. Champ Sports will end up 128k after that. Love Gorf. I've got the limited CD of Clor Gorf Classic for the Jaguar. Yeah, it's such a um, a great game because of the variety of levels it has. Oh my god, it's talking. Talkie, talkie, talkie. <laughs> uh, oh, close. 
Um, because it's got five different types of levels. So it's kind of a combination. It's almost like mini games in a way. It's like an early arcade compilation of a bunch of different fun games. So like um, Night Guy on Board, which is like a bunch of mini games, this is a similar idea where it's gathering. Oh, right into it. <laughs> You're talking here and I'm. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let me queue up the next one so I don't have to talk. <laughs> Won't distract you. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, almost. Ooh, that was lucky. Uh -huh. Let's kill me. The so next uh, category we're going to do is 4K and under games. Okay. Uh, original. Original 4K and under games. Okay. Sorry, that was a very brief play, but... <laughs> but you saw it. Yeah. It's fun. It can chat the whole, you know, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's very nice. It'll noisy. be taunting us. Taunting us. To put yes, in a Carl quarter. G, the bullet went through me, but I was immune. Thank goodness, because I killed the last guy, so... Yeah. Okay. It was a nice mm. blue glow. Packrat used to play this at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I never played this in the arcade. I don't think I've ever seen an arcade version of Gorf. Of Gorf? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely play it next time I see it. Um, so this category is Atari 2600 games, 4K and under. Original games. These are small games. Because mm. um, one of the earliest 2600 games were came on 4K and 2K cartridges. Mm -hmm. And 4K was like kind of a a budget limit mm. that they didn't want to put too much uh, uh, ROM into the cartridge because it would cost more. Yeah. So they're like, you got to make the games 4K or smaller. <laughs> so there's a uh, people who like that challenge. Oh yeah. It's like, what can I pack into 4K? Into 4K, yeah. And restricting, restricting the size. It's yeah. amazing what some of these programmers are able to pack mm. into 4K. So these are the best of 2020. Nice. Of what they're able to pack in. So the nominees for 4K and under original games for 2600 are Cannonhead Clash by Blue Swimmer. Uh, for code and design, Vladimir Zuniga for label, manual, and box design. Mm. That name <laughs> just keeps coming up. Uh, Crazy Tunes mm. by Jeff Johnson, Mega Matrix. That's very cool. That was a fun game. Mm-hmm. Uh, can't wait till we play all these games. I know. I want to play them all again, or the ones. Some of them I haven't played, so I'm looking yeah. forward to playing ones I haven't. So, played. just to explain it, uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to be playing all, all of, of the these games, games. Yeah. all of them. Um, so I'm really looking forward to revisiting all mm -hmm. these. Uh, Dog Gone It by Andrew Polly, Armscar Coder, Gra uh, game programming and graphics. Herbie Haller, cartridge label, manual and box design. And Charles Aikens, illustrations. I think I've been saying Atkins. Charles Aikens, illustrations. Shadow Reflex by Master Control 90. Stack Game by Blue Swimmer. And Whale Dive by Martin Vilkans. I think you played that with mm -hmm. me, right? Yep, I remember yeah. that one. Yep. That was challenging. De guiding your whale through it. Did we finish all the levels? Mm. Or did we? I think we did. I think we did finish all the levels. Mm. Yeah. So congratulations to those people making uh, tiny games. 4K and under uh, original games. So the next game we're going to play mm -hmm. is Robot War 2684 by John Champeau. There we go. Uh, Nathan Strum on the graphics. That's the only credits I have. So two people worked on this one, as far as I know. Actually, press up. There. And David Brown for music and sound. <laughs> I need to alter that, I guess. Yeah, it's not listed here. Um, but it is a work in progress. So it's only nominated. Like, works in progress are only in works in progress. They don't get nominated for sound and graphics. Because yeah. they're not done yet. No. It's just for the game. Yeah. The whole game themselves right now. This week in Robotron. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to. Uh, yeah. Use one joystick right now. 
I'm not gonna haul I'm not, I, I, I'm not, uh... Go save the guy. Save him. Yay! Ah! And <laughs> oh my god. Run into! <laughs> save her! Yay! And, like I keep repeating, as soon as the borders open up, we're getting a dual joystick. <laughs> Two joysticks, arcade style. It's gonna be... Because there's a number of games that it's useful for, that we've been like, oh, a dual joystick would be great for this. And their Atari 7800 joysticks as well, the Ed Ladin ones. Somebody's bragging about the Dragonfly cart <laughs> in the chat. Crossbow. Oh. Bragging about your Dragonfly. You're making us jealous. <laughs> <laughs> VH sensor. Hi guys, what did I miss? Your name about a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Rewind. Rewind. Yep, your name came up a lot. Oh James, you don't have one or did you order one? I Oh, Dragonfly? Oh. I'm on the list. So he hasn't contacted me yet for the payment. So what you do is you say, I want to buy a Dragonfly cart. Hmm. He puts you on a list mm -hmm. in order. Then when he's like, okay, I've got more to sell. I've assembled more. He contacts you via private message. You say, I want the purple one. I want the red one. I want these add-ons. I want the pokey chip, etc., etc." et, cetera, et cetera. Um, And then you pay for it. And then he ships it. And then he puts the tracking number. So I am on the list. You can see me on the list. I'm number 52. <laughs> I'm not... He checks every day. Yep. Uh, Mike, how many people? Actually, I want to check right now. <laughs> uh, let's see how far up. I have to wait still. Dragonfly pre-order. I think I'm number 52. No. I'm number 54. And he has shipped number 33. So there's 19 more to go from me. So I'm almost there. <laughs> Robotron seemed like a good example of a game. Ill suited. That's that almost would be... perfectly ill suited. Yes. Like, you look at this game and you're like, wow, it's got a thousand things on the screen at once. And the 2600 has two sprites. <laughs> wow. And look at this! Look at the screen! There's like a billion things going on at the same time. And you would... This would be like the last game you would think. You could fill a screen with mon like, uh, like monsters and uh, robots. Yeah. Like Mappy is like infinitely more plausible than Robotron 2084. Like yeah. way, way more. Very cool. Yeah. Crazy, crazy game what uh, mm -hmm. John Chapo has pulled off there. As per usual. Mm -hmm. okay. And yes, there's co-op play too. So. Oh yeah, there's yeah. two players at once. There's dual joystick, two players at once. Mm -hmm. Insane. Well, when you have uh, the Quantari, which is yeah. pending. Patent pending. No. Um, so the next category is Atari 2600 games under 4K ports. So these are arcade conversions of small mm. games. Uh, let me load up the graphics for category number 12. Yes, there it is. And the nominees are Avalanche by John Champo, Champ Games, Code and Design, Thomas Yench, Additional Coding and Optimizations, Nathan Strum for Graphics, David Exton, for packaging, illustration, and design. Uh, B Blocks by Jeff. Oh, now he told me how to pronounce his name, and I didn't write it down. And, and now went, you've forgotten. And I told him, oh, that's how I would have pronounced it anyway. But now I'm like hesitating. Now, like, now you're questioning yourself. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Haber and Jeremiah Knoll. <laughs> uh, Flappy Bird by Stephen Illingsworth. Illingworth. Uh, Grenozerka by Simon Manson, Midspace by Chris Reed, and Robot City by Thomas Yench, Game Design and Programming, and David Exton, Illustration and Manual Design. 
Congratulations. Oh, good night, S. Ramirez. Yes. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, congratulations to all those uh, Atari 2600 small ports, 4K and under. The next game we're going to check out, 2600 ports, mm -hmm. uh, works in progress, is Space Invaders Arcade by Thomas Yench. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's already on there. Good. So this one, he is able to get a ton of characters across the screen. And this is a really big deal. Like how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine, ten, eleven. Eleven characters is across the screen, eleven enemies. And that is like unbelievable. Long A. Long A. So he's already corrected me. Uh, where's his name again? Haber. Haber. <laughs> I said Haber, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, Jeff, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, UFO, get it. Oh, so close. I think I lost my capacity of wonder. If one day there's a 2600 version of Quake by Champ Games, I'll be, yeah, like, yeah, I expected that. <laughs> It will be on a 7800 using an FPGA GP with ray tracing like the one we saw on the SNES recently. Yeah, somebody made a game on the SNES and it is pretty much like a full computer outside the SNES rendering the display. Like it makes a full screen of graphics and just says, put this on the screen, put this on the screen, put this on the screen. Mm. Um, so if there's any systems that can have like um, a graphics buffer, it's like, oh, just make up the graphics and just feed it to it. Then you could just have an external um, device making the whole screen up over and over and over again. The 2600 is a little bit different of a beast where you have to feed it line by line mm -hmm. by line. It doesn't quite work like that. I'm used to it. Don't sweat it. Uh, yeah. All of us with weird names that don't work with computers or people, like my last name, with oh. the apostrophe and two capital letters. I was going to say, m most people know O'Brien, but... <laughs> no, even spelling. It's an A. A all the time. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because they think Brian. How do you spell Brian? Not with an E. But it's with an A. Yeah, but O'Brien can be spelled both ways. Like, people have... It's, that's the problem. Yeah. And they always spell it. When I say it out, yeah. they go with an A. Brian. Yeah. yeah. Because it's logical, right? What? That's like using a pie on the BBC Micro, as is an unarmed tube that can run Doom. Yeah. What is the countdown timer left to the score, to the left of the score? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Ah, he's going to get me! Oh, it's a work in progress, so <laughs> I don't know what it is. They it's don't shoot at you, though. Movement counter? I think oh. it's just a movement counter. I thought it was... Oh, it is a movement counter. Or is it counting down till they go down a level Maybe. again? Maybe. Oh, watch. It's almost done. And then it's going to go... No, no, no it's not that. Just a yeah. general timer. Works in progress games have those. Usually hex counters for where positioning you are on the screen. Real-time 3D games on the Atari can work. It's easier if you turn the monitor sideways. Yeah, what is that? Merlin's Walls is a game you have to turn your display sideways. And it's like a 3D maze. Mm. It's the only one I know of that. Because it's very inconvenient. You <laughs> have to turn your uh, monitor or uh, TV sideways. Mm. Jokes aside, the SNES ray tracing demo is cool because the FPG acts as a coprocessor like the FX, but everything is still controlled by the SNES GPU and memory. Well, that's kind of cool. So it doesn't have storage off-site outside of the cartridge. The guy said that, that is something that could have been done in the SNES times, but it would have been extremely pricey. Lol, I just watched the RAM bits in Stella. I just watched the RAM bits. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of... Uh, I mean, if you know where everything is and what everything symbolizes in RAM uh, in Stella, it's only 128, and it all fits in like a little grid. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. You guys get the idea. Yeah. Oh, I'll switch before that. Before I switch over. Nobody wants to look at a blue screen. Blue screen of death. Mm -hmm. Blue screen of Frame Meister. Okay. Next. What are we doing? Next category. Yeah. Category 13. 13. Here come the big ones. This is overall 2600 homebrew completed original game. Ooh. This is for like all the components together. Nice. For a full game. Uh, let me actually load it up because I was looking and chatting about other things. That doesn't take long. There we go. I should practice before the awards. Sneeze. Oh, maybe. No, nope. nope. I stifled it. Ah, terrible. Terrible feeling. Holding the COVID at bay. <laughs> That's right. Ah. <laughs> uh, the nomination uh, uh, nominees are for Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Original Game mm. are... Asteroids Attack by Ricardo Pym of Game Select. Cannonhead Clash by Blue Swimmer for Code and Design. Vladimir Zuniga for Label, Manual, and Box Design. Dog on It by Andrew Polly, Arm Scar Coder. Uh, game Programming Graphics, Herbie Haller, Cartridge Label, Manual, and Box Design. And Charles Akins for Illustrations. I Ran by Vladimir Zuniga, VHNC. Ninja Sky and Low Res World. By Vladimir Zuniga, <laughs> VHZC. And Unholy by Leonardo Santiago. And Vladimir Zuniga for packaging art. Nice. Oh my god. How many? F four. Four in that category. VHZC's name is in. Yep. Oh my god. I gotta add that up at some point. <laughs> yeah. Maybe somebody else can do it. Yeah. But I, I swear he's like in 20 games. 20 listings. Anyway. He's been involved in a lot of games this year. He yeah. has, yeah. Yeah. So congratulations. Uh, congratulations, yeah. Well, the homebrew original games, nice. 2600. Yeah, yeah, the big ones, yeah. Those are big. Yeah. So on to the last game mm. that we're going to take a look at for okay. 2600 Ports Works in Progress. It's uh, Zevius. Zevius. Not X, Z. Zevius. And this is a wonder of accomplishment, this game is incredible you didn't play this no but what he is able to do with background graphics in this game is unbelievable for the 2600 look at the landscape look at the multicolored like river and and green so just this this again is, is, is a work in progress yes yeah. oh i see um yeah we deb debuted this game on on the show a couple months ago um Thank you, Chris Walton, for uh, allowing us to show this game off first. This, this is a magical, magical game. Of age that he says I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Strom said I did a 3D version of the Combat Maze. Oh, that's cool. Next year you should have a separate VHC, <laughs> VHC, VHC non VHC yes, category. So it's like VHC can compete against himself, so he lets enough room for other people to win games. <laughs> Yeah, he is a force to be reckoned with, that is for yeah. sure. And I think we have the last category after this. All timed out very nicely. Oh. How did that happen? I don't know. It's like Planning? someone planned it. Whoa, mm. that's crazy. Because that doesn't happen around here at all. Planning? No. no. Maybe a little janky how it comes off, but uh, <laughs> there, there is, is a lot of planning. There is a method to the madness here. This is really cool. Isn't it unbelievable? <laughs> I know. Like Did I die? the technology, like behind it, the look of it is like, how do you even do that? Oh, it, you can. Uh, that works too. Oh. He shot you. I know. I was trying to shoot him. <laughs> Looks great. Hope it has all the hidden bonuses. It does. If you look for tiny dots... Oh, can, I haven't seen them. Do you, you, do you bomb them? Bomb them. Yeah, wow. and you get little bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, ah. this, has, this has everything in it. That's a game to show off the system. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Cat. The level are you playing at? Normal or easy? 
<laughs> just whatever. I just hit play. <laughs> Game over. over. I want to play once. I'll okay. Pl I'll play in the hard you mode. Haven't, so. You haven't gotten to play any of them. So. No. Oh, no, this is the... Uh, no. No? It, I have the full version. But oh. we, we have to play the versions that people play. Yeah, this like, one, this right? This is the demo version. Oh. Right? What we played on the show is the full version. No, right? but but is this the version people are playing? Is the version people are voting on. Yes. And playing. Yes. It's just I'm like, oh, you can't change the, the level. Yeah, so it's, it's just, just this it's a demo. level. That's fair enough. Yeah, I think. Let me just check. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, you can. No, no, I think he does release the full version. <laughs> CD-W. Okay, I'm going to play advanced. I'm going to get my ass handed to me immediately. <laughs> No, 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 he doesn't. Not right now. He's gonna here. lick my hand. You come here. You come here. You like me too. Yes. Yes. Come on. Not that bad yet. It's gonna get bad real quick here. Oh god. <laughs> Lots of bullets flying. <laughs> Originals VHC ports champ. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 they are strong contenders. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. What? What hit me? Uh, uh, A bullet. You got bullet hit. You got shot. Shot it hit. Oh, shot it hit. Secret is just like eliminate everything as soon as possible, or you're gonna get blasted. Mm -hmm. And then you get overwhelmed on the screen. Yep, like gotta take these out. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna stay over here. That's a good tactic. Ah! Oh, nice. Whoa! Oh. Oh, there's a end boss in this. Can you read that out? What? Nathan Strong? Oh, Nathan Strong, the mothership and or Genesis is in progress. The sprite stem but will require a different kernel. Mm. Mm. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, it, it's just absolutely mind-blowing what he's able to do with the play field mm. that's how uh all the green the grass is drawn yeah it's done by um flickering back and forth yeah um two separate drawings oh so on one screen you'll have one like one of the colors and on the other screen you'll have the other colors mm. and then every second line you'll have a different set of two colors right that's an example mm. depends what's on the line right but masterpiece, so good. beautiful, it's yeah, just beautiful. So many good games, so there many good are. games. There are, we're so lucky. Vote to be living in this time. <laughs> yes, vote and be sure to play all the games because they're yes. all amazing games to they play, are. regardless They've of who you vote for. In the end, they're worth playing. All they of are. these games are worth playing. So yeah, yeah. So it's a plethora of choice. Yeah, that's for sure. Bop, I'm so, bop you like a mole. Oh, bop, bop, bop. does he like that? Um, he puts up with it. He puts up with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Okay, the last category mm. nominated uh, for nominations is the Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Port. Port. Okay. So these are the ports. Okay. The Montreal out of the all together things. Um, okay. Nominees are Avalanche. 4K port by John Shampo, Champ Games, uh, Code and Design, Thomas Yan, Traditional Coding and Optimizations, Nathan Strom for Graphics, David Exton for Packaging, Illustration, and Design. Mm. B Blocks by Jeff Haber. Got that right, right? Haber. Haber? Hey, Haber. <laughs> and uh, Jeremiah says it, Noel. Says it like he's from Wisconsin. Haber. <laughs> Jeff Haber, eh? <laughs> Uh, Pit Cat by Marco Johannes uh, for programming, Dyfed Hitchens for produc production, and Shermel Decure for drawn artwork. Mm -hmm. Robot City by Thomas Yench, game design and programming, and David Exton, illustration and manual design. Tower of Rebel by Dion Olsthorn, 
Programming and Manual and Dave Dries for label bo and box artwork. And Zookeeper by John Champeau from Champ Games, Code and Design, Nathan Strum for Graphics, Robert Vieira, Music and Sound Effects, Thomas Yench, Music and Sound Effects Code, Lee Keebler, Additional Music and Testing, Nathan Strum, Packaging, Illustration, and Design. David, no die fed. Daffed. Da no, daffed. Daffed. No, daffed. No, David. 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 Okay. No die It'll fed. be gone. Out of my brain instantly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not Welsh, right? Daffed. It'd be no, daffed. Daffed. So congratulations to all the <laughs> nominees for Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Port. And congratulations to everyone. Yes. All the nominees mm -hmm. on this piece of paper. Now I can actually read um, the multiple nominations list. Oh, how many? Uh... There were five not five categories. Okay. Doggone it was in. Nice. Five. Five? And Robot City mm. nominated for five categories. Wow. Good. Congrats. Congratulations yes. to those two. Yes. Wow. Um, for four categories, the yep. following games were nominated in four categories. Mm -hmm. Cannon Head Clash, mm -hmm. Ninjish Guy in Low Res World, mm -hmm. Tower of Rubble, mm -hmm. Zookeeper, and uh, Zookeeper. Yeah. Yep. Uh, for three categories, the following were nominated for three categories. Nice. Avalanche, Pit Cat, and Unholy. Nice. And uh, these games were nominated in two categories. Asteroids Attack, B Blocks, Blipskit Ball, Crazy Tunes, Iran, and Midspace. Nice. So, wow, congratulations to all those games that yes. uh, were honored with multiple nominations. And all the rest were nominated in one category. There's a lot of games. There are a so lot of games. So, you guys play. have two, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. To play all those games. <laughs> I know a lot of you have played some of them. Yes. So, yeah. that's. That's fair enough. Like, you played all the really high-profile ones, probably, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or you've seen us play them on the show. Yeah. I know there's a lot of regulars here. Yeah. Um, so voting on those probably won't be as hard because mm. you're like, oh, I know that game. Yeah. And then you can investigate the ones you haven't played. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, now, after we jump off the show, is update that um, that page that I posted before. Oh, yes. And I'm going to post it again in the chat. So that you guys can download the binaries for all the games. And boom. Download the binaries for all the games and start evaluating and start voting. And I'm gonna enable the voting too. Nice. Actually, uh are you ready, Arena Foot? I can enable the voting like now. Uh really, really quite quickly actually. If you want to do that, because that'd be kind of fun. Starting the voting right now. What do you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what are they saying? I'm speaking for Arena Foot. Yes. He says. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> so let me uh, check off yeah. all. Carl G. I agree. 2020 was a bad year, but a great year for homebrews. Yeah, people had a lot of time to uh, dedicate. You can start do it now. Do it now. <laughs> start the voting. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Joed Diaz, for following. Yeah, Dodger. Jeremiah, so much free time for coding. A lot of people were out there, were, were um, working on their, their, their projects. Mm -hmm. Working on their projects. Okay, you ready? Uh, oh, you've shared it. Excellent. Yep. Okay, we're going to unhide. Dun, dun, dun. That should have worked. <laughs> and crash. No. Um. Uh -huh. Did that work? Let's see. Unhide. Let me just uh, refresh. Still hidden. No, it's still hidden. Let me just do it a different way. Because I don't think that worked. Oh, it highlighted all the hidden ones. Oh, that's funny. That's not what you do. That's not helpful. No. 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 Tara, you're being very quiet. I think he's sleepy. Too much excitement. He's so excited for everyone. He needs a nap now. Did it work? Oh, it's thinking. There we go. I had to do 14 of them. That's Yay. why. Um, okay, so here is the forum. Oh, somebody's already posted it. <laughs> Arena <laughs> Foot. They, got in there. All of them are unhidden now. You should be able to see them if you can get... Uh, sure. Somebody can... Uh, 
confirm that you can see them all. Did somebody click that? Arena foot, somebody? Uh, so that you can see and vote in all of them. And now I'm going to link them all together and stuff. But at least they're there. People can start voting. And you can download all of the folders. Um, got it posted. Got it posted? Mm -hmm. Guess that's confirmed. You can see it. Um, so on the upcoming shows, we're going to be doing... Yes, they're live. Awesome. <laughs> upcoming shows, we're going to be doing Tuesdays and Fridays. Yes. Right up to the... close to the... Yeah. Show because yep. I need a bit of time. You'll probably need a week ahead of it to, to kind of. And, yeah. Almost a week. Yeah. Almost a week. Yeah. So we're going to be doing on the next show all the games under 4K. I might be putting nice. some other ones in there as well. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot to cram in, so yeah. that's understandable. I'll be weighing <laughs> out how many. Yep. Uh, and then we're going to be doing the 2600 completed games. Nice. And then we're going to be doing the 8 bit uh, and 7800 games. Okay. So. It might be a lot because we have a lot more categories, mm. but we'll be going as fast as we did th today. Like little, but little, little testers of, of yeah. It's of like how this the is a game. Plays. We talk a little bit yeah. about it, what we like in it. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Um, and we won't be talking about the nominees anymore because they're all they're all out there. They're all revealed. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be very boom, 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 mm. boom. Voting results are not hidden. Well, that is a problem. Is an issue. Because it's supposed to be. Can you hide it? Yeah, I can. Let me just make sure. Oh, you know what it did? What did it do? No, hide results. That's not functioning correctly. Or is that just for me, possibly? <laughs> that might be just for you, but I will test it out. It won't be too bad if the first votes are shown, but we'll get that fixed up. I'm going to look at it in another browser. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I have to vote. Can somebody show a screenshot? <laughs> two people confirming. Yeah. That doesn't make... Oh, what is happening? Because I tested this. Yeah, Arena Foot, I had access last year, so it could be for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can somebody else confirm then? Yeah, if you had access last year, then then you probably have access this year. Can somebody vote on something that they're they already know that that they know because <laughs> I you can't take a vote back. Yeah. I just see one member has voted. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So Arena Foot, you have. Uh, admin access or whatever mm -hmm. moderator access do yeah. not abuse it <laughs> don't abuse your power okay good yeah but we you you will Dad. double check that after but yeah yeah because i verified this beforehand yeah. like i did tests and stuff okay um so that, it should be good okay yeah can't see the okay results. good you're freaking me out but it's good you did that <laughs> it's good you freaked me out yes let's say double check double check yeah um so what else is left on february 6th is the big award show. Yes. We're not going to be sitting on this couch. It's going to be a lot more glamorous. No. We'll be dressed up a little bit. We'll be, well, <laughs> don't yeah, we don't glamorous. promise anything. It's no song and dance. The cats <laughs> might be there. Um, we're going to be on a green screen like last year. Nice. nice. Nice graphics backgrounds and stuff. And stuff. Nice Excited. Back, backgrounds. We're going to have the winners call in video. Oh, good. Voice. Nice. However text, they want to do it. However they want to yeah. do it. We'll hopefully have Al phone in. Of Arena Foot. Nice. Um, yeah, lots of things. Lots of fun stuff. Excellent. Um, we posted whatever the version was, the last version posted in 2020. That's the version. Yeah. Honored for all the nominations being mentioned with some of the greats. Thanks. Well, you are very welcome. It was the nomination committee that uh, decided on all of the all the things. So I want to thank had a lot of work to do. Everybody on the nomination yeah. committee. Thank you so much. Um, I'm actually going to thank them by name because it is not an anonymous thing. Um, so we're as open as we can be. I'm incapable of choosing between nominees right now. Nope. Yeah. Somebody did test it, so it's all good. Yeah. Um, let me check out the ROM folder. I think I tested it out earlier, but I'm going to test it out again. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
doesn't like copying that link very much. Yep. Yep. All looks good. Thank you very much, Arena Foot. Copy and paste. Ugh. Chat pause due to scroll. <laughs> ROM folder not pasted. No, it's I, I haven't posted it yet because I'm doing the show. <laughs> so if you're in the chat, you get that link. If you're not in the chat, it's not there. That's <laughs> not why yet. I put it at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> you guys get first first crack at voting. Not yeah. that it matters. No. Right? Yeah. You have two you have weeks. Lots of time. Yeah, yeah, you have two weeks. Yeah. Twitch is cutting it off. Oh, the link. The yeah. link. It'll be posted in the Atari Age forums very, very shortly. Yeah. Um, oh, I wanted to thank all the, the nomination committee, uh, before we go, um, for helping out uh, narrow down the hundreds, hundreds of games you don't, you guys don't have to go through and play. Because uh, it's a lot of games. Com like Adding up all the 7,800 and... 2600 games and 8-bit games throughout the year hundreds literally hundreds uh let's find it and then i will say the names out so they have been working for the past two weeks uh around two weeks um playing all the games mm -hmm. i mean they're very knowledgeable about the games to begin with um but uh, playing them evaluating them and then voting on them and then I've added all the votes up. So, uh, Arena Foot, CD W, uh, myself, uh, John Champeau, uh, S. Ramirez 2008, um, Thomas Yench, Nathan Strom, uh, Carl G., Muddy Funster, Phil San. That was for the 2600. For the 7800, there was. Phil Sand, Daryl 1970, Muddy Funster, M.K. Smith. Is the right ones? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fulton Bot, Smitty B, Revenge, S. Ramirez 2008, Arena Foot, myself. And for. Yeah, bribes are welcome. Hey. Thank you, everyone who sent us bribes. They didn't actually fight the results. Yeah. <laughs> we enjoyed them anyway. You wasted your money on chocolates and <laughs> wine, whatever else you sent That's them. That's right. Uh, Adam, Kaz, Philsan, Matosimi, Tix, uh, Bunsen, and Brian Mathern for the 8-bit. So thank you all of those people for uh, putting in so many hours and playing through all those games. It was, it was a lot of work. Luckily, I played all the, all the games already <laughs> on the show. Yeah that were in there yeah so i just had to kind of review some of them it's like yep. oh what was the music like on that nice let me look at the graphics again on that one compared them mm. i didn't get any questions <laughs> well you got us you've got to uh what do they you, like a politician they have to you have to go out and get out into the crowd and <laughs> lobby reverse lobby <laughs> you have to do some reverse lobbying yeah. to, get, to get those chocolates and stuff yeah <laughs> Um, bookmarked on Firefox. Got finished just before the show. Yeah, everything was like down to the wire. I saw 51 people at some moment. Oh, oh watching. Watching, wow, that's, that's great. That's excellent. That's a lot. That's awesome. Um, so thanks, everybody. I think that's the end for now. <laughs> I'll let you guys um, start playing mm -hmm. all the games. I'll update the website or the forums so everybody has all the links are all in the mm -hmm. proper place. So you can all vote and download things. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then let everybody on the internet know that the voting is happening, because I've got a big list of places to post it, like in all the Facebook forums mm -hmm. and um, Facebook uh, groups and pages, so that uh, everybody else knows it's happening. Yep. And thank you very much, Dan ABC, for putting out the word as well. Um, thank you for everybody for watching today. Dan, ABC, MCB90, Arena Foot, Flackets, Ricardo Pym, Nathan Strum. Oh, it just moved. Oh my God. Uh, Miss Command, Armscar Coder, Scum Software, uh, Crossbow, Carl G, Captain Classic, uh, Marco Johannes, uh, Jeremiah518. Mm -hmm. Lots of names to recognize. Mick Muse, yep. Jamtex, Revan Tooley, Jared Gray West, Daniel Medina. Very nice. 
Very nice, yeah. Uh, Veach ZC. Excellent. Just Jeff. This command. Uh, uh, repeating still. Blue, Blue Swimmer. Yeah. Johnny's in there. MCP90. I don't John Champo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Spiceware. Great yeah. Offender. Crossbow. I don't even know who you've said anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot like, of ah, I'm just going to keep reading them out. Oh, and that's the end of yeah. the scroll. So everybody Very else nice. that uh, were in here earlier, time yeah. for a nice cup of tea. Yes, that's a great actually, idea. that is a great idea. That would be nice. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a mood for a cup of tea. Mood for tea. Yes. yes. That was fun. Yes, it's always fun reading off the names of all the people who did such great work throughout the year. Yes, yes. And it'll be really fun playing all these games over I'm, the next I'm couple excited. of weeks. Yeah, yeah it's all always the best a good time. And then I have to prepare for the uh, eventual show on February 6th. Make up all the graphics and all the videos and it's a lot of work. do the voiceover again. Yeah. <laughs> all these names and yes. get, get them right. Yep. All the uh, Polish names <laughs> and Jeff's name. Just all the names, really. All the names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Practice. Or if we get them wrong. Practice, practice, practice. Oh, 5 a.m. Oh, thank you for staying. Oh, up my goodness. MCP 90. Yeah, I would I would sleep personally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just catch up the next day. <laughs> oh, we're still oh, in small. Time mode. to dry clean the tux. Excellent. There we go. Um, yeah. So we'll be back on Tuesday with some more games, mm -hmm. playing some more of the nominees. Excellent. And so everybody out there, thanks for hanging out. Yeah. All those people who sleep. stayed up late. All the Thank Europeans. you for joining us. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Such a late night. Yeah. I think I'll go to sleep at the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, senders. <laughs> and we'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good Get night. some sleep. Have a good weekend. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>